we also have a lot of uh, objects related to, to the artists. For example, we have uh, one uh, Turner palette. All these uh, sort of things that can be found in an artist studio. So this is uh, the Evelyn number collection that we received in 2015 uh, from her family. This one, one of the, uh, is one of the sketchbooks that we have. It's actually a Thai script made by her husband, Roger Foley. So the, these little mice um, uh, represent this little group who um, went for this short holiday in Lake District. So it's uh, Evelyn Number, her future husband, Roger Foley, and then a couple of friends. It was not like planned to do like this sort of work together, but Roger Foley, he came uh, home and he found like that his ice script had been illustrated by her uh, wife uh, with his little drawings. So the State Archive is an incredible um, place of discovery. Uh, we collect, uh, preserve and make accessible uh, material related to artists and uh, world art uh, figures from the 1900s. We have uh, over a million of items and more than 900 collections and uh, our main goal is to preserve and make accessible for the, for the public. Evelyn Number was a painter, an illustrator, a muralist. She's very well known for being a war artist, but she's not very well known for anything else. So the album of greeting cards is very interesting because it's like a collection of all the greeting cards that Evelyn Number and her husband did together. She was very clever in the sense that she, was, she could jump from a style to the other. She could do like black and white drawing and then she could do like super colorful painting. The war painting, they are beautiful painting, but they are completely like a different style. But then in here we can see another side of her personality, another side of her uh, interest. But you can tell that she has like, she's very skilled like in portraying the human figure. She's really able to depict the movement of uh, the human body. Most of the time we are so used to a box like an artist in uh, in a certain way while actually we, we should get more used to consider like multiple traits of their personalities and abilities and interests they are part of an artist's life and uh, i think they are worth to be kept also to tell a full story because this is what an archive does in the end, like uh, keeping and preserving the material we are allow people to discover it in the future and also to reshape an history that has not been maybe very well told in the past. We are the custody of like a collective memory, you know, so it's, uh, it's for everyone, it's not only for the few.